僕に手を握ってもらわないと眠れないゆめさん So, after watching the initial episode of My Stepmom's Daughter is My Ex, I had a little hesitation because the first initial episode was good but wasn't great. And it did some things that personally, like, I wasn't the biggest fan of. And I'm going to tell you what those are now, right out the gate. That way we can move forward and talk about episode number two. The things that I really didn't enjoy about episode number one, the initial episode, the episode that's supposed to reach out and grab you, is the fact that you had two characters in Yume and Mizuto who had been dating in junior high. And they stopped dating for what's described in episode two as a stupid reason as they were about to transition into high school. Before they officially transitioned to high school, they got to meet the. Spouse or the partner that their parents currently had as they were about to get remarried to each other. And when they met their parents' new spouse, they found out that it, it was in fact the parent of their ex, which in Mizuto's case was Yume and Yume's case was Misoto. And in no way, shape, or form did either of them come out and tell their parents that, hey, by the way, you're about to marry my ex girlfriend or ex boyfriend's dad or mom. Okay, sure, totally fine. Then you have the whole step sibling、um, kind of new camaraderie and stuff. And immediately during episode one, Misoto and Yume kind of figure out that there is still some. Deep down, there's still some feelings, even, even if it's on a subconscious level, there's still some feelings that they both still carry for each other. So, that flame that they had before isn't completely out. There's still a little spark in there. There's still a little, it's still going a little bit.、It、looks like a little lighter flame. You know, it's not a big old campfire, but it looks like a little lighter flame still. And at the end of episode one, it was, you know, The flame may got a little bit bigger as Mizoto and Yume effed up and they almost kissed each other. And they would have probably gone to first or second or third base. Shit, they could have gone, made a home run if the parents didn't end up coming home. So there's all of that that ended up happening, okay? So th- that whole line of, you know, potentially dancing around, you know, do we have feelings for each other or do we not the whole season didn't seem that appealing. Okay, so let's move into episode number two. So,、uh, episode number two was kind of focused around two points. It was focused around on Yume's side from her storytelling, it was focused around her making a brand new friend in、uh, Minami. Okay, so it was focused around her making a brand new friend in Minami and her doing the、uh, what do they call it? It's not test of courage, it's、uh, the field day. So they, they basically have like an all day PE day at school to where they have like a fitness day and they you know they take people's measurements, they make you know they make sure you can do push ups and sit ups and long jumps and they, they evaluate you and they give you like a, a fitness score essentially, just like, it's like health related stuff. Uh, that we've all done in school. You know, Japan seems to do a little bit differently, but we've all done, you know, these kind of like fitness days, you know, certain、uh, fitness tests, you know, make sure that our, the health is all good. So she makes a brand new friend, Minami, where, you know, she essentially, you know, they, they compare cup sizes. She talks about hitting puberty. She talks about the fact that, you know, her,、uh, her boobly magooglies, you know, they grew. Uh, they grew two sizes that day about a year ago. Minami's jealous, but you know, she basically makes a new friend. They go and compete in their fitness day.、Uh, Yume goes and gives it her absolute all because, you know, again, she's trying to、uh, re image herself. She's trying to, she was a little bit nerdy, a little bit, you know,、uh, more docile. So in, in high school, she's trying to reinvent herself, right? And she gives it her all. And, you know, as she's doing that, she kind of goes a little bit too far. And during the test,、uh, Misoto kind of notices that she's been pushing herself a little bit. And right as Yume is about to you know, literally pass the F out,、uh, M- Misoto's there and he catches her and he's like, Hey, you know, you look like you've been pushing yourself a little bit too much. And then he throws her back in Minami. He's like, Hey, make sure you take care of her. And、uh, this went a long way for Yume because she knows that, Hey, she,、uh, Misoto was watching me.、Uh, she knows that Misoto cares. 
this shows a Minami that, you know, hey, he, her stepbrother really cares for her or whatever. But it just shows that he really cares. And even she, even Minami was like, yo, aren't the boys still doing their stuff over there? You know, whatever, right? So you had all that. So immediately I was like, you're okay. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Then the other half of the episode is um, around you may getting sick. But before I get to that, uh, we also have a new character, Ka- uh, I think his name, Kaw- Kawanami? Ka- Kawanami or something like that who is now the friend of Mizuto, uh, kind of in the same vein as Minami and Yume. Uh, but he, Kawanami, basically, he's, he seems a little like a bit of a weirdo. You know, he just likes to watch. He's a people watcher. You know, it's like he takes journals and stuff. But he, he legitimately seems like he wants to be friends with Mizuto. So that's all cool. Then the rest of the episode's about Yume being sick. And, uh, you know, Minami goes to visit her. Uh, at the episode, and we, we get to see some of Yume interacting with uh, Misato through the episode, and then we got to see Minami kind of grilling, um, we got to see Minami grilling Misato as well, as like, you know, are you guys, what is your relationship, you know, is there anything extra there, you know, he's like, no, we're just step-siblings, and she's like, okay, good, because she, she can feel the vibe of there's something more here, uh, and she'll probably continue pushing the envelope on that as the season grows on. Then the rest of the episode I actually really liked, and for a moment I kind of like forgot the things that I didn't like, which was what I talked about at the beginning of the of the uh, review here. But we had Yume, uh, you know, at first le- legitly being sick, running a high fever, uh, you know, calling out to Mizuto, you know, like, hey, you know, hold my hand, you left me before, you know, kind of bringing up stuff that happened a couple of years ago when they were. Uh, dating when they were going out, you know, she kind of brought up the past of at some point he said he was going to hold her hand and he left, you know, basically leaving her hanging, basically leaving those feelings that like, you know, she's finally getting able to voice. But this time she's able to take advantage of it. So he holds her hand. He he waits on it. Um, he waits on her kind of like hand and hand and foot. Then uh, at some point, Yume begins feeling better, and she takes advantage of it. She's saying, you know, hold my hand again. You know, She didn't say hug me, but I'll just throw it out there. She's like, you know, hug me. You know, get me my book. Give me some ice cream. And he's basically waiting on her hand and foot. And he's like, at some point, they're like, okay, let me take your temperature now. Uh, and he does. You know, she's like, yo, when would you start feeling better? And, you know, Yume begins acting all cute and stuff. So on one hand, I'm going to have to basically, like, push down my feelings of not really liking the... Uh, are we brother, sister, or are we lovers kind of thing. I'm just going to have to push that down because what I am really liking so far and what I did enjoy is I enjoy their their relationship between each other. I like how Mizuto and Yume kind of interact. I love their, their banter between each other, their argumentative side. And I love how they're still very cute to each other, how Mizuto is very, like, she just, you know, Yume describes it as he's very gentle with her, which he is. And Yume is still very, like, you know, cutesy and flirty and stuff. Now, the problem is, is they live together. They're technically step siblings, So they're, they are traveling down a very dark path. Uh, but, hey, at the end of the day, if there is something there and it is true love, true love is true love. And technically they met, they met first. And technically, you know, even if they were to take things further they're not actually related the only thing that can f them up big time which i doubt will happen in the season but in a real life situation the only thing that can really f them up is if their parents have another kid uh which their parents seem a little bit older probably in their 40s you know what i mean so if their parents have another kid that could f them up because introducing an actual child by their parents then you have your your step siblings uh, being there, that can really F up a, a kid, and that can F them up. But if, if there's no other kid, you know, hey, if they want to go love each other, move out, whatever, it's all good. Uh, but anyways, really enjoying it so far. I think episode two really came and knocked it out the park. I was really impressed. I was smiling the whole time. I laughed. I enjoyed it. Uh, but that's going to be my review of my uh, stepmom's mom. My stepmom's mom? My ste- <laughs> my stepmom's daughter's my ex. I think this was really good. This, this Episode two really impressed me. Really enjoyed it. Make sure you guys uh, come hang out with me again next Wednesday as we jump into episode three. Peace.